Good morning, folks. Where to begin? First, I woke up to a voicemail from Dr. Kong Pop Uyen. You will remember he's the NASA Goddard scientist that did work on the connection between space weather and disasters here on Earth. When he mentioned our work during his speech at the conference, it was an amazing feeling. A few days ago, we remarked how the new info he brought to light will change how we do the news forever. And I'm going to call him back in just a few hours. For those who missed our half-hour special last night, I'll summarize it here. We had two major discoveries and both had me almost struggling to find words as they both hint at star water principles. First, we have another ringed object in the solar system. It's an asteroid and lies between Saturn and Uranus on a highly inclined orbit. Its rings have a very high water content. One of the extrapolated star water principles begins at asteroids. Most universal oxygen is locked in rocks and it's been proven that solar wind interaction liberates the oxygen to form water with solar hydrogen. The series describes how Earth used this mechanism to support us. The second announcement came from way, way beyond Pluto, a dwarf planet candidate with 900 other similar trans-Plutonian objects. Now while this does indeed speak minimally to the merit of those searching for Planet X due to the hints at high population of objects out there, it's far more important to the star water principles. The solar wind that's released towards the planets slows down and stops out past Pluto. The particles ejected from the polar coronal holes of the Sun curl back toroidally and wrap back past Pluto, and those particles that slow down and stop and meet out there contain every known element according to NASA's JPL Genesis mission. Millions, billions of years of just bunching up out there. Our Star Water series predicts tens if not hundreds of thousands of planets out there at every star, not just our own, and indeed, there should be super Earths and water. Western Pacific retakes the quakes over the last day. Nothing major, but more than the USGS downgrade we see this morning. Nothing changes down under. The main watch for this location is the entire east coast of Australia for the downpours. Top Tropics Watch actually comes to the east coast of Africa, formed right as yesterday's interplanetary shockwave hit Earth, and we'll monitor this for further development. In Europe, the majority of dangerous drive is still west to the North Atlantic, but one low in the Mediterranean does bring lightning to coastal areas today. In the west, we still have a lot of snow warnings north, but the top watch follows the convergence eastward tonight as air of differing moisture, temperature, pressure, and electric potential slam together and work out their differences to the tune of severe weather for those below. Solar wind telemetry shows yesterday's shock is over. It was stronger than expected to begin with, so indeed, we are expecting this calming and smoothing of the metrics today. Well, how about the sunspots? Wish I had more exciting news, but the peppering you see here lacks complexity. Our connection to the star is wrapped just to the backside of the limb, so we'll monitor for eruptions and a polar radiation concern there, but the Earth-facing groups they're nicely separated. It's the delta spots we watch for flaring, blue and red magnetic mix of umbral cores within the same penumbral region, and yet we see separation like a middle school dance here. Not gonna pop big today. In fact, she might not even pop at mid-level. For those who are new here, I link our SO Notes discussion on the solar slowdown every single day, and it's paramount for long-term context of our daily solar observations. At this time, we are most concerned with the coronal holes. Yes, we have green positive coming in now, but the next one behind it in negative red appears to be an equatorial polar extension. The last five of those that maintained high solar wind force when they faced Earth resulted in magnitude seven earthquakes or better. ISWA will be good to watch on that one this weekend. Current conditions, shots of our star to close. Eyes open, no fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.